I was surprised that Gmail was still allowing .js attachments, that is JavaScript attachments. Um, but they announced that, that, and they gave some warning that as of February 13th, uh, Gmail will start blocking and bouncing any incoming mail with JavaScript attached. Um, they currently restrict uh, a wide array of extensions, you know, like .bat, .chm, .com, .exe, the ones you would expect, uh, MSC, VBE, uh, uh, Windows uh, scripting host, uh, .sys, you know, a, a whole bunch, .lib, um, but they had not had .js on the list before now. Oh, and .scr, because as we know, that, that, that that's a Windows screensaver, which is actually an exe, which is just renamed .scr to, to differentiate it. So, uh, and of course, uh, also, we know that they will look inside of different forms of compression, and uh, both gz and bz2, uh, zip and tgz files, and if they see files with those extensions in the zips, they block that. And if they see a password protected uh, archive that they're not able to look into, they block that too. So I'm glad that Google is raising the barrier. I just wanted to give people a heads up that, you know, if, you know, I don't know why anyone would attach a JavaScript to email. Like, I guess, you know, you, you might stick it in a zip file and get it to somebody if, if you had some cause for doing that, but you won't be able to. And they said, if you still need to send .js files for legitimate reasons, and obviously the reason they're blocking it is not because they're grumpy, but because they, you, you just get to, up to too much mischief if you run, if you are attached JavaScript to email, uh, they say you can use Google Drive and Google Cloud Storage or other storage solutions. And of course, just, you know, forward a link to somebody who can then grab the copy that you posted somewhere.